Oh, yeah, yeah, true. <laughs> Risa, thank you. No se escucha, teacher. T teacher, I don't hear you. Your microphone is closed. Oh, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. very good. I was saying, I'm sorry, I apologize. I was saying that my my computer uh, uh, became crazy. My, my mouse <laughs> take me out from the meeting. <laughs> okay, sorry, I'm here. I'm back again. Okay, very good. Uh, it's good to have you here, my dear class. I was saying that um, today we are going to continue with module number five. Next week, we are going to complete uh, section number uh, five. So today is four, next week is five. And I was asking about the platform uh, because I see people uh, trying to solve some exercises. I see and I try to help uh, with some issues, but at the end I see that you uh, were able to solve. So I would like to, to know if there is someone else with any platform problem. Or is everything okay? Everything okay, teacher. Uh -huh. Everything okay. Okay. Very good. Nice. Okay. No problem. Okay. Uh, let's go to the platform. Uh, I want to share this. Okay. So for today we have a uh, four point nine. I I imagine that you already finished even the listening exercise, which was in four point seven. So. Uh, in this session, you will listen to a dialogue uh, where two people use modifiers with participles and prepositions, okay? So we will be talking about participles and prepositions. And then you have uh, there a conversation mm -hmm. that later we will try to practice, but you can go to the platform and listen uh, many times, okay, for you to, to practice. So I want to share, I want to stop sharing this and I want to share my presentation in order that you can see what I have prepared for you. Okay, <clears throat> this is a very important grammar point uh, for today. So I want you to, to know what is a modifier. Okay, uh, oops, you see my mouse is crazy, okay. Uh, a modifier is a word that, or group of words, which specifies, uh, modifies a noun or pronoun. Can you see my screen? Pueden ver todos mi pantalla? Yes. Yes, okay, very good. So, for example, he is the man, or he's the one. In this case, the modifier is the man and the one. And what is a participle? A, paris, a participle can be the ing form of the verb, okay? Uh, for example, dancing, wearing, standing, talking. Normally, we know it as ing form, ¿verdad? Normalmente lo conocemos como la forma ing, but we can also call it participle in this case. Um, what is a preposition? A preposition is a word which is used to show relationship between two uh, persons, two places, and two things. Sorry, that is a mistake there. Um, with short black hair, uh, in jeans, next to the window. For example, I can say, hey, look, look that man next to the window. So I'm using the, the preposition next to as a, modif as a modifier. Um, or for example, uh, look, there is a lady in white jeans over there. So I'm using the preposition in as a modifier. For example, Ahmad is the one. He is wearing black sunglasses. Ahmad is the one wearing black sunglasses. Aram is the man. He is standing behind, behind the coach. Agram is the man standing behind the coach. So in this case, the man is a modifier. Standing behind the coach, behind is another modifier. I know it's a little bit, uh, 
not easy, but uh, I want to, to clarify also this. Uh, I know that you have listened that the verbs can be in, pa in, in present, in simple past, or a past participle, or present participle, okay? Me gusta esta lámina, la quiero explicar en español porque sé que algunos tienen un gran símbolo de interrogación como teacher. Yo conozco eso como ING, no como participio. Como participio yo conozco un tiempo de los sí, verbos. Sí. Y tiene razón, ¿verdad? Entonces, por eso me gustó esta lámina y quise traerla, porque en efecto tenemos la forma base de los verbos, tenemos el tiempo pasado y el pasado participio, ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, si yo digo cook en un verbo, esta es la, la forma base o el presente, en el pasado simple yo digo cooked, y como es un verbo regular, el pasado participio también es cooked. Eh, pero hay otros verbos, ¿verdad? Como el verbo sin, cantar, que son verbos irregulares. Entonces aquí yo digo sin, presente, san, pasado, san, past participle. Entonces aquí ya me cambia del pasado simple al pasado participio y me lo tengo que learn by heart or memorize, ¿ok? Me lo tengo que memorizar porque... Eh, son verbos irregulares, entonces ya no aplica, como el caso de los regulares, que solo le agrego ed. ¿Por qué estoy explicando todo eso? Porque sí, en efecto, esto es un participio, ¿verdad? Esto es un participio. Pero también, a esta forma verbal, eh, ing, también se le puede llamar present participle, presente participio. Cooking, laughing, crying, walking, thinking... Eh, singing, eating, drinking, ¿verdad? Y también los conocemos como el ING form, ¿verdad? Y también se dice que puede ser un gerundio, pero ahorita no me quiero meter en, en el tema de gerundio, sino que quiero que nos mantengamos en el participle. Y que ustedes sepan que hay un past participle y un present participle. ¿Estamos claros? ¿Los identificamos correctamente? ¿Cuál es el past participle? Que normalmente es la tercera columna de los verbos cuando nos dan la lista de verbos para aprender, ¿verdad? Sí, y estamos aprendiendo que lo que usualmente conocemos como ING también se llama present participle. ¿Estamos todos en sintonía hasta ahí? No. Mm, yes. ¿Sí? ¿Sí? ¿Yes? No. ¿Quién dijo no? Hello, someone said no. Ok, vamos a ir despacito para que no se me pierdan, ok. So, what are modifiers with participles and prepositions? We say, he's the man dancing in the living room. Vean, aquí el dancing lo estamos utilizando como un modifier, ¿verdad? Eh, es, él es el hombre... Eh, que baila en el salón, eh, John, she's, she's the one wearing a dress, Rosa, she's the Japanese woman with dark hair, mi chico, he's the one in white pants, Joe, she's the tall person next to the window, Julia. So, what, what we do with modifiers? ¿Qué hacemos con los, con los eh, modifiers? Lo que hacemos es que, en otras palabras, eh, reemplazamos en alguna medida el nombre de la persona, ¿verdad? Y decimos, siempre utilizamos el, el, el pronombre, ¿verdad? El pronombre personal. Pero el, modif el modifier nos sirve como para dar una descripción en lugar de decir, he's John, eh, in, eh, he's John, He's in the living room, decimos, he's the man dancing in the living room. Y obviamos decir que él es John, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué, por, ¿Por qué podemos obviar decir que es John? Porque tal vez no sabemos cómo se llama, ¿verdad? Entonces solo nos resta decir algo que lo caracterice. He's the man dancing in the living room, ¿ok? She's the one wearing a dress. 
Maybe I don't know the name of the lady. I don't know her name is Rosa. So what I do is try to describe the way uh, she's uh, dressed uh, using a modifier. Uh, it's the similar case uh, when I say she's a Japanese woman with dark hair. Instead of saying uh, she's the Japanese lady, um, her name is Michiko. Maybe I don't know the name. So I say the Japanese woman with dark hair. Okay, so uh, it's the same with the other example of Joe. He's the one in white pants instead of saying Joe. She's the tall person next to uh, the tall person next to the window. I don't know that her name maybe is Julia. Okay, very teacher. good. See? Teacher. teacher. See? Good evening, teacher. Sorry. Hello. Sorry. Hello, Nicolas. Uh, one question. Yes. Uh, how do you say how do you say uh, the the phrase in Spanish? He's the one in white pants. Ahorita voy. <clears throat> Ahorita voy. En español sería en la primera. Él es el hombre eh, que está bailando en el salón o que baila en el salón. Eh, ella en el segundo, ¿verdad? En el segundo. Ella es la que está usando vestido. La que, ¿verdad? Eh, ella es la mujer japonesa con el cabello oscuro o con el cabello negro. Él es, eh, él es el que está de pantalones blancos. Ella es la persona alta eh, cerca de la, a la par de la ventana. ¿Sí? Entonces, eh, puede ser eh, la que, el que, está ah, bailando, okay. está usando, está, o tiene el cabello de tal forma, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, okay. Teacher, eso quiere decir que one es la que, el que, se puede considerar así. Eh, también puede decir, uh, you are the one, ah, tú eres la persona, you are the one. You are the one. Uh -huh. Ok, yes. Okay, so um, I was saying at the beginning that in this case, a participle can be the past participle and also the present participle with ing, okay? Which is the same form that we know as ing. Okay, what is in your books? It's in, in your, I'm sorry, in your platform. It says modifiers with participles and prepositions. And, and here, uh, we can use a combination of WH words with modifiers and participles and prepositions. For example, I say, who's Raul? Um, he's the man wearing a green shirt. Vean, yo no conozco a Raul y pregunto, ¿quién es Raul? O Ro, yo digo, he's the man, es el hombre. ¿Cuál hombre? Vea, porque hay 10 hombres ahí en esa reunión. I don't know who. And then the other person says, he's the man wearing a green shirt. Él es el hombre eh, que viste, en este caso el wearing, ¿verdad? Eh, que viste o que, que, que tiene puesta, ¿verdad? Que está usando en español una camisa verde. Which one is Raúl? Puedo preguntarlo así también. ¿Y cuál es Raúl, verdad? Which one? Porque tengo five people there. Recuerden que which nos sirve para cuando hacemos una pregunta de cuál en medio de una serie de cosas o de un grupo de cosas, ¿verdad? Entonces yo digo, which, which one is Raúl? He is the one talking to Liz. Él es el que está hablando con Liz. Ok, who's Liz? She's the woman with short black hair. Ella es la mujer con el cabello corto color negro o con el cabello negro, ¿verdad? Eh, corto. Eh, which one is, is Julia? She's the tall one in jeans. Ella es la alta en jeans. Entonces, el modifier es como un eh, adjective en cierta medida que califica de una manera, pero de una manera muy especial a una persona para hacerlo diferente de otras. ¿verdad? Y poderlo destacar y poder decir quién es. Eh, usualmente.
Can you hear me now? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay, yes, very good. Yes. Okay, so I was trying to say, let me see if I can move this. Vamos a ver si lo puedo. Ahí está. Perfect. Entonces, estábamos. Se me congeló la pantalla. Hello, can you hear me? Ok, very good. Yes. Me pueden escuchar. Ahí estamos. Yes. Entonces, en su libro ustedes tienen. Eh, Who are the Smiths? Supongamos que yo no conozco a los señores Smith. Y pregunto, who are the Smiths? They are the people next to the window. ¿Ok? Son las personas que están a la par de la ventana. I think that I'm not sharing, right? Ahorita no puedo hacer pantalla, ¿verdad? Sí, creo que voy a entrar. Denme un segundo. Uh -huh. Sí, es que me, me sacó. Ahí está. Ok. Who are the Smith? Now, can you, can you observe my screen? ¿Pueden observar mi pantalla? Yes. 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 Ok. So, um, who are the Smith? They are the people next to the window. Son las personas cerca de la a la par de la ventana. ¿no? Which one are, the, o puedo preguntar también, which one are the Smiths? They are the ones on the couch. Son los que están en el sofá, ¿verdad? Sentados, maybe. Okay, so that's what you have in your, in your platform. So now I want to go to my next slide to explain a little bit. Okay, uh, here there's another extra explanation. Um, that says participle ed versus ing. Es decir, los participios que terminan en ed, ¿verdad? Y los participios que terminan en ing. So here, let's see if I can project this better. It says, what is a participle? A participle is a word form, a verb, which can, eh, can be used as an adjective that I was saying. Pueden ser utilizados como adjetivos para describir a alguien, ¿verdad? De una manera muy particular, por cierto. For example, a past participle, bored. I was bored at the movie theater. Yo estaba aburrido en la, en el, en la, en la película, ¿verdad? En el teatro. Entonces aquí, en esta oración, ¿cuál creen ustedes que es el verbo principal? Mm, bored. Ajá, cuando alguien lo ve así piensa que es bored, pero en realidad no es bored. ¿Alguien I'm más? Was. What? I'm was. Exactly. The main verb of that sentence is was. Yo estaba. Entonces, ¿cómo estaba? Aburrido. Entonces, aunque boring es un verbo que, que significa aburrir, ¿verdad? Pero en este caso, el participio, el que ya termina con el ed, ya no está fungiendo en este caso preciso como verbo principal sino porque aquí tenemos un verbo principal that stands alone, que se mantiene solo, ¿verdad? Que es el verbo to be en pasado, was. I was bored at the movie theater. Entonces, este board, que es un participio terminado con ed, se vuelve un adjetivo. ¿Cómo estaba yo en el movie theater? ¿Cómo estaba yo en la película? Bored. Yeah. Estaba aburrido. Surprised. I was surprised when I heard the news. Sorprendido. Yo estaba sorprendida cuando escuché la noticia. ¿Cuál sería el verbo principal en esa oración? Was. 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 Verb to be in past, was. Entonces, igual que en el caso de arriba, ¿verdad? <laughs> surprised se vuelve un, es un participio, ¿verdad? ED. Eh, pero... Eh, se vuelve un adjetivo. Then I ask, how I, how I was when I heard the news? Surprised. So it's an adjective. Okay, uh, present participles. Uh, present participles end with ing. 
boring, surprising. The movie was boring. La película estaba aburrida. The news was very surprising. La noticia fue muy sorprendente. Note, it says, note, y the adjectives often describe people feeling. Normalmente este tipo de adjetivos que son participles con ed, normalmente describen los sentimientos de las personas. People feelings. I feel bored. Me sentía aburrida. A boring movie. Una película aburrida. However, will make you feel bored. Eh, es, es diferente, ¿verdad? Te hará sentir aburrido. ¿verdad? Ahí, ahí ya le cambio. Eh, choose the correct principal adjective from each of the sentence below. Vamos a tratar de encontrar el, el adjetivo, ¿verdad? Eh, el, el participio correcto en forma de adjetivo en cada una de las oraciones. So, let's see. I don't understand chess. Eh, the rules are very confused or confusing. Confusing, right? Let's try to guess the other one. He was embarrassed or embarrassing when he arrived late for class. Embarrassed. Embarrassing. Muy bien, very good. Uh, so how can I do to identify, uh, let's see. I need a line art. Let's see, let's see. En formas, teacher. Sí, eso quiero hacer, fíjese. Ilustraciones, ¿eh? Ahí estamos. Perfecto. Um, ¿Cómo hago yo? ¿Cómo decimos en este caso para poder saber cuál de los dos era? Por el verbo. Ver el verbo principal. Perfecto. Por el verbo to be. Porque el was me indicó que era una situación pasada. Entonces... El adjetivo, en este caso el, el modifier que funciona como un adjetivo, también debe guardar concordancia, ¿verdad? Ok, uh, let's see. Number three. There is a new playing at the theater. Are you interested or interesting? Interesting. 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 Fíjense que eh, pudiéramos pensar que, que es interesting, pero... Eh, como estoy, le estoy preguntando a él, ¿estás tú interesado. In, interesante o interesado? Interesado. Interesado, Interesado. Very good. My little brother makes too much noise. He is annoyed or annoying. Annoying. Mm. Annoying, ¿verdad? Él es molesto. O sea, él es, o sea, él es alguien molestón, ¿verdad? Que molesta. I like my new chair. It's quite relaxed or relaxing. 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 La silla es relajante, ¿verdad? Ok, very good. Uh, let's see the other one. Moving to a new home is hard. It's hard work. It's tired or tiring. 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 Sí, es cansado, ¿verdad? Era como annoying, ¿verdad? Eh, the sad news made me depressed or depressing. Depressed. 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 ¿Por qué? Porque vean cómo está el, el verbo principal, que es made. Made. Yes. Made. Very good. In past. Ok, let's see. Uh, Luis got a B. She was satisfied or satisfying with her result? Satisfied. Satisfied. Because I have was, right? Ella estaba satisfecha. Okay. Very good. Uh, so let's see. The other one. Uh, our company isn't making any money. It's very worried or worrying. 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 Worrying, ¿verdad? Porque está hablando de algo que está ocurriendo. El verbo principal en este caso es to be. Y dice, it's very worrying. Es muy preocupante. Ok, uh, let's see. Number 10. 
Robert thinks that roller coaster are terrified or terrifying. 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 Porque el verbo principal está en presente, ¿verdad? Are. Terrifying. Son eh, terríficos. Ok. I think that insects are fascinated or fascinating. I love fascinating. 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 Fasc fascinating, ¿verdad? Porque dice are, no dice was. Very good. I love to study them. Me encanta estudiarlos. Eh, when the TV program was canceled, Kelly was disappointed or disappointing? Disappointed. 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 Okay, in past, because it says Kelly was. was. Very good. Okay, let's repeat, my dears. I don't understand chess. I don't, I don't understand, understand chess. The rules are very confusing. The rules, the rules are, are very, very confusing. confusing. He was embarrassed when he arrived for late for class. He was, he was, was embarrassed, embarrassed when he arrived, when arrived, when arrived late, late for, class. for class. There is a new movie playing at the theater. There is a there new, is a new movie, movie playing in the theater. Are you interested? Are you, Are you interested? interested? My little brother makes me makes too much noise. My little, My little brother, brother makes, makes too much, 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 much noise. noise. He is annoying. He is he annoying. annoying. I like my new car. Sorry, my new chair. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Car. I like my new chair. I, I like, like, like my new chair. chair. It's quite relaxing. It's, it's quite, quite relaxing. relaxing. Moving to a new home is hard work. Moving, Moving to a new home, home, is, home is hard work. work. It's tiring. It it's is tiring. tiring. Okay. The sad news made me depressed. The sad, the sad, the sad, news, sad made news made me depressed. Okay. Uh, Louis got a B. Louis, Louis, Louis got, got a B. B. She was satisfied with her result. She was, she was satisfied, satisfied with her best result. Her company isn't making any money. Or company isn't making any money. It's very worrying. It's it very, very worrying. worrying. Very worrying. Robert thinks that roller coasters are terrifying. Roller coasters are terrifying. Are terrifying. I think that insects are fascinating. I, I, I think, think that these are fascinating. I love to study them. I, I love to study, study them. them. When the TV program was canceled, when the TV, the TV program, program was canceled, Kelly was disappointed. Kelly, Kelly was, was disappointed. disappointed. Very good. So I, and there are the, the, okay, the answer key. Okay, that's it. Very good. So let's see confusing, embarrassed, interested, annoying, relaxing, tiring. Nunca vi el tiring. Ah, yes, it is. Yes. Depressed. Yes. Yes. Satisfied. Yes. Worrying, terrifying, yes. fascinating, disappointing. Very good. Disappointing. Mm -hmm. yeah. No, disappointing. <laughs> Solo en una nos equivocamos. Dis no, no. pero está correcto. No, disappointing. Está disappointed. Ah, correcto. Okay. Ajá, está correcta. Sí. Yeah, yeah, we did it. Ya fue, teacher. Yeah, we did it. I promise not watch this first. Prometí no ver esto primero y lo cumplí, así que todavía me acuerdo. ¿eh? <laughs> no, very good. Eh, es un tema un poquito... Eh, puede ser confuso al principio, pero eh, cuando ustedes vean expresiones como estas, vean el verbo principal. Primero identifiquen cuál es el verbo principal, ¿verdad? Entonces, eh, una vez lo identifiquen, ustedes ven si está en pasado, normalmente el modifier 
que puede ser otro verbo, pero ya en forma de participio, eh, está en pasado también. Pero si el verbo, como en el number four, está el verbo principal, y vean que aquí hay dos sentences. Entonces, cuando tengan estos casos, usted vea la última sentence donde está la expresión eh, que le están evaluando, que usted está identificando. ¿Verdad? La última oración dice, he is annoyed or annoying. Entonces, ¿cuál es el verbo principal de esa oración? Aunque es bien short, bien corta, but the main verb is is, so it's present. Entonces, ¿qué significa? Que mi modifier es un present participle. ¿Y cuál es el present participle? De ing. De ing. ¿Verdad? De ing. Entonces, lo que normalmente como, conocemos como ING. Ok, ¿Is it clear? ¿Está claro? Ok, very good. So now I would like to go to the platform. Vamos a ver si esta cosa no me saca. Stop share. And let's see if I can go to the platform. Because I would like that we can do this, uh, we can practice this conversation. It, it says, hi, Raul, good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. Uh, she went to a concert with Alex. Es como, she couldn't make it. Es como, no, no vino, ¿verdad? Uh, oh, well, why you don't go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Uh, oh, muy bien, le dice. ¿Por qué no? Why don't you? ¿Por qué no? Vas y hablas con Julia. She doesn't know anyone here. Ella no conoce a nadie aquí. Julia, which one is she? ¿Quién es ella? Is the woman wearing glasses over there? Es la mujer que está usando lentes. Por ahí, ¿verdad? Over there. Señala. No. Eh, a pregunta. Eh, is the woman wearing glasses over there? No. She's the tall one in jeans. Ella es la alta en jeans. Vea la descripción que le da. She's standing near the window. Ella está de pie cerca de la ventana. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Oh, me gustaría eh, conocerla. Ok, let's repeat together. Hi, Raúl. Hi, Raúl. Hi, Raúl. Good to see you. Good to see, see you. you. Where's Maggie? Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert. She went to a concert. She went to a concert with Alex. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh well. Oh well. Why don't you go and talk to Julia? Why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia. Julia. Yeah. Which one is she? Which, which one, one is she? she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? <coughs> is, she is she the woman, the woman wearing glasses, glasses, glasses over there? there? No. 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 She's the no. tall one. She's the tall one in jeans. She's, She's the, the tall one, one in jeans. jeans. In jeans. She's standing near the window. She's standing near the window. Near the window. The window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Oh, oh I'd oh, like to I meet like her. her. Okay, very good. Now it's your turn. I would like to ask you to find a partner and to practice the conversation. So, which modifiers can you see? ¿Qué, modifi qué modifiers podemos eh, encontrar aquí? Eh, The woman wearing glasses, ¿verdad? Uh, one, she, couldn't, she couldn't make it. No, ese no, ese no, no es. No, es solo hay dos. The woman wearing glasses eh, y el otro. Uh, one in the jeans. tall one in, the tall one in jeans. Which one? Ajá, okay. Y la otra, eh, standing near the window. Standing, yes. Yes, standing. very good, three. Okay, nice. Yeah. Now it's your turn. Could you please? Guitar. Da, 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 da. Guitar. <laughs> okay. So I would like to have a partners to choose other partners to present the conversation before the class. 
Ok, who wants to start? ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Ok, tengo Trini. Ok, tengo Nicolás y David. So, Nicolás, eh, who, and then David, and David, and then Julie. I think that Julie was the, the, the one. Ok, Nicolás, who are you going to ask eh, to word this? Who will be your partner? I, I, I select to my okay. partner. Yes, please. Okay. Larissa. Hello, Nicolas. How are oh, you? <laughs> fine, <laughs> fine. Thank you, Larissa. Okay, Larissa, are you list? Okay. Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she called make it. She wanted to. Couldn't, couldn't make it. Could, couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Very good. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she woman? Is she, is she woman? Where? glasses over there no she's the tall one in jeans she's standing near the window oh i'd like to meet here her to meet her yeah very good congratulations okay okay nice david uh, it's your turn so i would okay. like to ask you to choose a partner uh. Katia. Hi. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? David? Okay. Oh, repeat, repeat. Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she called him make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one is she? And you continue, David. Is, is, she, the is woman? she the woman wearing glasses over there? No. She's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I like to meet her. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, very good. Then you join. Unimos un poquito el meet her para sonar un poquito more natural, okay? Meet her. Yes, and the other word is couldn't. Acuérdense que con el couldn't la L no suena. Entonces, couldn't. Couldn't. Very couldn't. good. And the other word is, um, let's see, when you say, uh, you say woman, esa O suena como una U, woman. woman. Only one, woman. only one, woman. But if we are talking woman. about more than one, two or more, you say women. Okay. Remember that it's Thanks. an irregular plural. Esa es una información adicional que les doy, es un plural irregular. Entonces, si es solo una dama, decimos woman, esa O suena U, una mujer, y si es más de una, son dos, ustedes dicen women, ok, very good, okay. so, uh, Thanks, teacher. thank you, teacher. Katia, thank you. ok, and thank you, David, so, uh, Julie, are you ready? Yes, um, Isabel, Isabelita, I'm ready, hi, Isabel, hi, hi, Okay, I am Liz and you, Raul. Okay. Hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where is my email? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why do you go uh, talk to Julia? She doesn't why, why don't you? 
Why don't you go? Ajá, uh -huh, continue. Go and talk to you. That's it now. Anyone here? Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? Over there? No. Over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I would like to meet her. Okay, very good, thank you. Ese I es I would like, ¿verdad? En la expresión con, por, completa sería would. I would like to meet her. Pero en la, eh, ahí tenemos una contraction. And it says I'd like to, I'd meet, like to meet I'd her. I'd like to meet her. And the other word that I would like that you can repeat is no. No anyone here. No. Yes. She doesn't know anyone here. Okay, very good. Thank you, Julie and Isabel. So, hello, Miguel. How are you today? Hello, teacher. Good to have you here in class. Um, Thank you. I would like that you can choose a partner to present the conversation using modifier. Are you ready? Well, <laughs> David? Uh, David already participated, but we have Ready, Noé, and we have Guillermo. Noé? Noé? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, great. Hi. Um, I'm going to choose. Uh, but um, Miguel, sorry, Noé, I, I asked Miguel to choose yes. someone and he chose you. Okay. So you okay. are Miguel's partner. Okay. Um, um, okay. <coughs> Miguel I'm Liz. You will be Liz. Liz, Liz, yes, yes. Okay. Hi, Ro. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh, well, why don't you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia? Which one no. is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I'd like to meet her. Okay, thank you. Uh, only two words that I would like that you repeat. Woman. 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 She's the tall one. She's, She's the, tall the tall one. one. She's the tall one in jeans. She's, She's the, the tall, tall, tall one in jeans. jeans. Okay, very good. Thank you, Miguel and Noé. Uh, Miguel, uh, could you please work with Guillermo? Noé. Yes. Okay, thank you, Noé. Yes, okay. So, Guillermo, are you ready to work with Noé the conversation? Okay, let's do it. Okay, okay. Noé, I would like that you can do the other part. Okay. The contrary. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Uh, hi, Raul. Good to see you. Where's Maggie? Oh, she's co she couldn't make it. She went to a concert with Alex. Oh well, when do you go? <clears throat> why do you go and talk to Julia? She doesn't know anyone here. Julia, which one is she? Is she the woman wearing glasses over there? No, she's the tall one in jeans. She's standing near the window. Oh, I didn't like to meet her. Okay, very good. Uh, only one expression that I would like that you can repeat. She doesn't know anyone here. She, she doesn't, doesn't know, know anyone here. Anyone here. She doesn't know anyone here. She doesn't, she doesn't, doesn't know, know, know anyone, anyone, here. anyone here. Okay, very good. Great job. You did a great job. So now you know how to apply modifiers. 
So modifiers are adjectives that we use to give a special characteristic um, to uh, people, okay? So um, it's to describe sometimes people that we don't know and we give extra emphasis in some characteristics. Eh, no sirve para describir, los modifiers no sirven para describir personas, ¿verdad? Con, con ciertas eh, especificaciones, ¿verdad? Que sobresalen de los demás. Por ejemplo, the tall one, la persona alta. Eh, the lady uh, in dress, eh, la chica del vestido. Eh, the woman with red hair, la, la mujer con cabello rojo. O oh, the tall man, el hombre alto, ¿verdad? Or we can say uh, the short uh, boy, el niño bajito, ¿verdad? Eh, and so on. Eh, those are like adjectives, but are eh, formed by um, a participle. And we said at the beginning of the class that a participle is, uh, just to remind you, I will go to my presentation again, just to give extra feedback. Okay, just to remind you, uh, we learned that a modifier is a word or group of words which specifies or modifies a noun or pronoun. ¿verdad? Un modificador es una palabra o grupo de palabras que especifica o modifica a un nombre o un pronombre. ¿verdad? Eh, he's the man, él es el hombre. He's the one, él es ese, ¿verdad? Él es ese, o él es la persona, ¿verdad? Que te decía. Eh, también un participle es algo que es un verbo, ¿verdad? Una palabra que usualmente es un verbo con ing o puede ser con ed también. Eh, ya dijimos que el con ed es un past participle, un pasado participio. Eh, hay otros pasados participios de verbos irregulares también. Y tenemos lo que es el presente participio, que es lo que usualmente conocemos que es ING, ¿verdad? ING. And then, a preposition is a word uh, which is used to show relationship between two persons, two places, and two things. Una preposición es una palabra que se utiliza para mostrar la relación entre dos personas, dos cosas, y, eh, o dos lugares. For example, um, Sorry. With short black hair, in jeans, next to the window, okay? Uh, and in here we have some exercises. He's the man dancing in the living room. Él es el hombre que está bailando en el salón. Eh, o, que, o que baila, ¿verdad? She's the one wearing a dress. Ella es la que... Uh, usa un vestido o tiene o tiene un o lleva un vestido puesto. She's the Japanese woman with dark hair. Ella es la mujer japonesa con el cabello oscuro o negro. Michiko. We are talking about Michiko, but we are not saying her name. Uh, he's the one in white pants. Él es el, el, el que está en, en pantalones blancos. We are talking about Joe, but we are not mentioning Joe's name. She's the tall person next to the window. Ella es la persona alta a la par de la ventana. We are talking about Julia, like in the conversation, but we don't um, say her name. Okay, so I would like to know if the topic is clear. Y me gustaría saber si el tema está claro, ¿verdad? Eh, para concluirlo acá, ¿verdad? Para el día de mañana, estaríamos estudiando lo que sería particles and prepositions. Eh, modifiers with particles and prepositions, que es bastante similar, ¿verdad? Es un poco lo que ya vimos. Eh, un, una recordadita, aunque creo que esto ya lo cubrimos con, el, con la clase de hoy. Ustedes pueden ir eh, a ver el Grammar Focus del video 4.12. And it says modifiers with participles and prepositions. Eh, ok, so for... In order to continue, we have the knowledge check en la plataforma, ¿verdad? Para continuar, tenemos lo que sería el knowledge check, ¿verdad? Um, remember that you have to complete all the knowledge check. Uh, 
eh, on time. Necesitamos completar esto a tiempo. No sé si alguien de ustedes logró llegar hasta ahí. Al knowledge check. O todavía no. No, teacher. Ca no. Casi, teacher. Casi. Ok, very good. <laughs> so, you should try. Deberían de tratar. You should try. And if you have any problem, we can try to help eh, between us in order to solve it. And then what follows or what continues in the platform is a, a, a five, five a point zero. That's an objective that we could start tomorrow, but uh, I would like to see if this topic is clear and we can advance or if you would like to continue practicing. Me gustaría saber eh, cómo se sienten con, con la sección 4. ¿Verdad? Si hay algo que quieran que repasemos de esta sección o si ya mañana podríamos empezar en la sección 5. ¿Verdad? Eh, me gustaría que estuvieran intentando eh, completar el Knowledge Check del 4.13. ¿Verdad? Para que así si les da problema, pues lo vemos eh, en equipo. ¿Dudas, preguntas del tema de hoy? Teacher, yo creo que quizás, y en este caso, los modificadores, sí pudiera ser tal vez un punto a repasar. Perfecto. Porque en el caso, eh, para mí es nuevo, por ejemplo, The One. Uh -huh. Es nuevo para mí. Very good. Yo creería no. de que podría, si existen las condiciones, para poderlo reforzar. Por supuesto, todavía nos queda mañana, Wednesday, mañana podemos seguir practicando modifiers y eh, jueves podemos hacer un complete review of unit three if you want, or start eh, section five, como ustedes gusten, ¿verdad? Por supuesto que también los, si los compañeros, si, si los compañeros están de acuerdo, ¿verdad? Ok. Es una bien personal. Very good. Would you like to mm -hmm. continue practicing yes. modifiers tomorrow? Yes, teacher. Yes. Very, yes. Good. Very good. I will bring more exercises. Yes, maybe teacher. you will uh, prepare a notebook because maybe you will have to write and to provide examples and so on. So we will spend the class tomorrow continue uh, practicing modifiers. And then uh, on uh, Thursday, if possible, we conclude uh, Section four, and we could start uh, section five if, if times uh, if it's enough time. Okay, very good. So thank you very much for coming to class today. It's great to have you here. So thank you very much again. Uh, have a nice, uh, nice rest. Good night. And I hope to see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Okay, see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Bye. 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 Good night, everyone. Good night. Good night, everyone.